technology makes it, makes it possible to reach out to more people than those uh, who can be accommodated in the classroom or classrooms of a, of a specific uh, institution. So there is a very serious issue in terms of expanding access that is made possible by, by the technology. But there, this is not the only one. And some of them, uh, some of the other aspects of the challenges brought about by the technology could be quite interesting. One of them is in terms of uh, teaching methods, pedagogy, curriculum. So it is possible to um, organize teaching, bringing in new elements that would not have been possible without uh, the technology. And this is not only in the case of remote access, you know, having lecturers joining through electronic means or students uh, joining through electronic means, but this is also about what the technology allows to do in one specific uh, classroom as part of a graduate program, be it a master program or a, or a PhD program. MOOCs are something very fashionable and it's a challenging uh, new, very recent development for, for universities in general. It is not quite clear where it is uh, going, but it is forcing at least universities to, to think. To think about their offerings, about their um, reach, how they reach to current students, to, to potential students, and I would say most universities are forced to make a decision. Do they want to go into MOOCs? Does it make sense to go into MOOCs? Can they afford to go into MOOCs? And if you know, I am to speak about our own uh, university here at CU, we are having this um, discussion at present and we don't have an answer as, as yet, but it's something very important to consider and address. On the one side, technology comes at the cost. Although you know the cost per unit is going down for almost everything there is technology, doing new things with technology requires most of a very serious investment and uh, such investments are usually risky. So some universities are young universities, including are rather of the opinion that they should wait see what uh, bigger, you know, larger, richer universities do, whether they succeed or not, and then they will follow, they will, they will try the same. So they don't want to take the, the risk to, you know, make investments that will yield no uh, results. On the other side, there are universities or university leaders who consider that young universities can um, jump and, you know, they don't need to repeat uh, all the stages through which older, more established universities has gone and then they can go immediately for top-notch technology for educational programs which are supported by, by this kind of, uh, of technology. And of course, you know, the issue is do they have the resources, how they can mobilize the resources and then we can go into different uh, kind of discussions whether we are talking about a private university, uh, a state university. But again, um, this is a challenge that cannot be ignored. This is one question that universities must address as part of their strategic thinking and strategic processes.